it is really hot in my house because it's summer right now and our AC is not working for some reason. I don't know, but I have my hair down so I can show you guys my green hair and it's green for the Joker because I love him. So now I can be the Joker's daughter. And uh, then that's blue because it was purple, but then I got um, the purple kept fading to gray, so then I um, dyed it blue because blue, please. Anyone who's seen that video knows what I'm talking about. Okay, so this video is going to be horror movies because I love horror movies. They are my favorite type of movies ever. So this vlog is going to be about my collection of horror movies that I own because I tend to buy a lot of DVDs. First one on the pile, in no specific, in no specific order, is Sounds of the Lambs. Um, and uh, with all of these, I will tell you a bit what they're about. And uh, I love all of these movies. Um, Sounds of the Lambs is about Hannibal Lecter uh, when he was in the jail or when he was in prison, and then the girl. Um, it reminds me a lot of uh, the Joker and Harley because Harley was a psych doctor and she went into the jail to talk to the Joker and the Joker made her fall in love with him. And it's kind of the same lines. Uh, Hannibal Lecter makes the girl kind of fall in love with him and uh, like help him and stuff. So, but that's what this is about. Um, if you have not seen it, it is amazing. It is a classic and you should go, I, I advise you to watch all of these if you have not seen them uh, or look up trailers or something, see if it might be something that you're interested in. But that is Sons of Limbs. The Hannibal Lecter series and it has Anthony Hopkins and Jodie Foster and Scott Glenn in it. That's number one. Number two, Sleepy Hollow. This movie is a Tim Burton movie and it has Johnny Depp and whatever that girl's name is. It should be here somewhere. Christina Ricci. Um, it's, it's the basic tale of Sleepy Hollow aka The Headless Horseman. And it's, I wouldn't really consider it a horror movie. It's more of kind of like, it's not really scary either. Some parts can get scary. Like I, I jump a lot one night. For anyone who has Steam or plays Amnesia on Steam, um, Amnesia is a terrifying game. I cannot play it. So I will make Curtis play it and I watch him play it. And one time, some, uh, the first time we saw the guy, he like leaned around the corner and we were hiding. And then... I got terrified by him, so I ended up headbutting Curtis in the face by accident. So yeah, that happened. And there's a lot of screaming that goes on in that game, but this is kind of a, a suspense movie. And it's the tale of Sleepy Hollow with the Headless Horseman, as I just said. But that is that. I haven't watched these movies in forever, so I'm sorry if my like descriptions are awful of them. Okay, next, Pan's Labyrinth. This movie is all in Spanish to start off with, and it is the only, like, I watch a lot of Japanese movies in Japanese and with the subtitles on, um, because I love Japanese movies. This movie is in Spanish. It is the only Spanish film I have seen. It is the only one that, well, not really the only one, but, like, I love it. Um, it is about a little girl and her mom in, I think, World War II, and either her dad or her stepdad, who is a sergeant. And he's awful. He's just an awful human being in general. And then the little girl um, goes down this whole thing. Well, not really a whole, but like, she finds Pan. Or I think his name might be Pan. I don't know. It's that guy. Um, but it is, it's his labyrinth. And she's apparently the queen of it. And so there's a baby eater in here. It's like this creature with these eyes for hands. And that's what I want eyeballs tattooed on my palms so I can be him. I don't know. Um, let me, let me, let me see if I can give you guys a good description because this movie is amazing and you need to watch it. If you've not heard of it or seen it, you need to watch it because it's amazing. Every part of it is amazing. Okay. Oh, it's a civil war. Um, so that's, the girl's name's Ophelia. Um, enters a world of unimaginable cruelty when she moves in with her new stepfather. A tyrannical military officer, armed with her only imagination, Ophelia discovers a mysterious labyrinth and meets a fawn who sets her on the path to saving herself and her ailing mother. Soon the line between fantasy and reality becomes a blur, and before Ophelia can turn back, she finds herself at the corner of a ferocious battle between good and evil. Dun, dun, dun. 
Um, but she's like the princess queen thing of the labyrinth down there, and it's, just, it's bloody, and the guy ends up getting his face cut up here, like the Joker, and he stitches it, and it's amazing. Amazing. Okay. Next one. One of her movies of all time is Sweeney Todd. No, no, no. I love the barber off Fleet Street. Sweeney Todd, uh, this is not a Tim Burton movie. Um, if you have read the 1970-something book, or the, no, it's a 17-something book, 1780s maybe, that is nothing like this. This is like the Broadway musical. It is a musical for anyone who likes musicals or doesn't like musicals. It's still a good movie if you don't like musicals. But it is pretty much um, Sweeney Todd. And he was sent away because a judge wanted his wife so he sent him away for 15 years, and then this is after he comes back, and then this is Lovett, who is Helena Bohem Carter, who I adore, is living in his old house, and she has a meat pie shop. And Sweeney Todd wants revenge on the judge who took his wife from him. Turns out his wife took, what was it, arsenic. She took arsenic, and he thinks that she died, so he thinks that she, he killed her. So he wants revenge against this dude. And... So he goes on a, a killing spree and uh, just practices on killing everyone by opening a barbershop. And then with the dead bodies they have, they send him down to Mrs. Mrs. Lovett's uh, Meat Pie Emporium and she makes meat pies out of evil. And it's fantastic. It's really cheesy blood, um, but I still love it and it's fantastic. <laughs> Excuse me. So the next movie is one of a series of, I think, six. And it is Saw. Yes, Saw, because I am in love with Jigsaw because he's fantastic. For anyone who hasn't seen any of the Saw movies, they are gory. Uh, and it's pretty much just Jigsaw, the old dude. He takes people and locks them in this... It's not really a house. It's like this big white room. And they have to do things in order to set themselves free, but they have all done bad things in life to get them to the point where they're at in this. So he is like... It's pretty much like a life lessons movie thing. I'll, I'll read the back because I'm not doing a very good job. Obsessed with teaching his victims the value of life, a deranged, statistic serial killer abducts the morally wayward. Once captured, they must face impossible choices in a, in a, in a horrific game of survival. The victims must fight to win their lives back or die trying. Dun, dun, dun. But it's fantastic, and there's many in the series. And see, look, there's a dead foot and everything. Isn't that cute? Look at that dead foot. Oh, my feet. That's cute. Nice, dirty. Oh, and then there's a hand on the back. See, it's cute. But you need to watch Saw because it's fantastic. I say fantastic so much, I don't know why. I'm sorry. Next. It's not really a horror movie, but it is The Sixth Sense. It has Bruce Willis in it. This is the movie... Where if you have if you've never seen this movie, it's the one where the line "I see dead people" comes from. It's a little boy who sees dead people, obviously, and uh, I am terrified of ghosts, so I mean I find it scary. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, um, when Dr. Malcolm Crow, a distinguished child psychologist, meets Cole Sear, um, oh, someone from Forrest Gump on oh, Forrest Run. A frightened, confused eight-year-old, Dr. Crow is completely unprepared to leave, the, to learn the truth of what haunts young Cole. With a riveting intensity, you'll find thoroughly chilling. Yeah, uh, discovery of Cole's incredible sixth sense leads them both to mysterious and unforeseeable consequences. So yeah, it's a kid who sees ghosts and then the doctor. But it's got a crazy twist at the end, which I'm not going to tell you about because I don't want to give it away because I want you to watch it. Next, this is the only one I have out of the um, series of the movies, and I'm really sad about that because this is one of my favorite horror characters of all time, and it is Chucky. And I have the seat of Chucky, which is when him and Tiffany have a baby, which is really awesome. Um, for anyone who doesn't know, Chucky is an evil doll who kills people, and it is hilarious just to think about that, but it is... It's funny and gross and awesome. Um, and I have the unrated version, which I have not watched yet. Um, but I have seen this movie a bunch of times, though. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's when they're brought back to life. This one's when they're brought back to life. But the entire story of Chucky overall is him, a doll, killing people. He's a murder stall. 
which is awesome. And he has blue eyes and Tiffany has green and they're cute. Look at them. Cute together. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, I have two left. I don't know which one to save for last. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with this one first. So it wasn't until last week that I watched this movie and after seeing it one time, it became one of my favorite movies of all time. And that is Trick or Treat. Um, Trick or Treat is, I'm going to read the back because I've only seen it twice, uh, but it is amazing because this dude, his name is Sam. He is a little pumpkin head killer dude. Oh, I don't have it on me. But, um, I don't have an actual picture of him, but he's adorable. And he bites the lollipop. It's, um, it's like a pumpkin lollipop with a face. And he bites it, and it'll, it's like a circle that he bites out, and he stabs him and kills him with it. It's the coolest way to kill someone ever with a lollipop. Okay, the back says... Oh, it also has Rogue in it from X-Men, and which is the same girl from Suki from True Blood. She's in here. Um... A high school principal moonlights, moonlights as a vicious serial killer. The quest of a young virgin for that someone special takes a gruesome turn. A group of teens carries out a cruel prank with disastrous consequences. And a, I don't like big words. An old man battles a mischievous trick or treating demon. So it all takes place on Halloween night. The, the girl, Suki, is with like her friends and then they're like having a party and stuff and then that turns really weird really fast and I love it and it's bloody and then the teacher kills a little kid in the beginning he kills him and then he buries his body in the backyard uh, yeah it's great like just watch it it's like Sam it's this guy Sam the, the, this is what his face looks like under the, the bag he has over his head but he he is the reason that I watched it and it is amazing amazing Last but not least, okay, this is probably my favorite movie of all time, or up there close to it. Um, I have watched this movie, I literally watch this movie every night for months on end, because it is amazing. And it's Donnie Darko. Um, I saw this movie for the first time a couple of years ago and didn't watch it again until about maybe a year and a half ago. And I haven't stopped watching it since, because it's amazing. I need to come up with new words in Fantastic and Amazing because I use those a lot. Like, there needs to be a whole nother level of my words, like, phantasmical or something like that. Um, but Donnie Darko is about Donnie, this guy, and he has a lot of mental problems, and he's on medication, and he doesn't want to take the medication. And he sees Fred, and Fred is a bunny. Um, let me see if I have a picture of Fred in here. No, there's no picture of Fred. Um, there kind of is a picture of Fred, right? Oh, uh, you can't see it. Right there. But Fred is a dude in a giant bunny suit. And at one point in the movie, Fred goes, Why are you wearing that stupid bunny suit? And then Fred goes, Why are you wearing that stupid man suit? Anyways. So, he's, he's kind of crazy. Donnie is kind of crazy. And... Uh, having a really bad memory and not being able to, like, communicate everything up here to, like, out of there is, like, awful. I'm just going to read the back because otherwise. Oh yeah, Fred tells him when the world's going to end. Um, so Donnie is trying to prevent the end of the world. And there's a big part of it is time travel. And a hot topic we have shirts that say, do you believe in time travel with Fred on them? But Fred is really dark on the shirt, so I didn't want it. Um, And he goes to like, Donnie goes to all these psychiatrists and stuff, and they know about Fred, and I don't want to tell the end of the movie, and the Donnie meets a girl in it, and they're like going together, it's their form of dating I guess, but they, they go together, and then, just, oh, I, I'm sorry, I do an awful job at explaining movies. I have to hang up. Like, the whole movie is pretty much, it makes you, like, 
not know what parts are real and what parts are just Donnie thinking it. Like, uh, he talks to one of his teachers in the movie about time travel. And the teacher's like, I can't talk to you anymore about this because I could lose my job. And then uh, Donnie's this big snake. It's like a clear, weird, bubbly line going out of his chest. And he thinks that's a time portal thing to a different dimension or a different point in time. And so he like follows that and it's just, it's awesome. And Frank is adorable and amazing. And Frank was an Indian in the war that got killed. And I'm sorry I did an awful job of explaining all of these movies. But those are, those are my, my, my uh, top horror movies ever. So uh, I'm just going to go over them real quick. Die Darko. Trick or Treat. The Donnie Darko is on Netflix. Um, currently, I don't know when it will be in the future or if it they, they're going to take it off, but it, right now it's on Netflix. Trick or Treat is not on Netflix, so you should go buy it. See of Chucky. I think this might be on Netflix. Not sure. Or any of the Chucky movies are amazing. Um, the Sixth Sense, which I think is on Netflix. Saw, which is not on Netflix. All the Saw movies are amazing. Sweeney Todd, not on Netflix. But you should go watch it. Pan's Labyrinth. I don't think that's on Netflix either. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I just, I, I know I live by Netflix, so if it's not on there, I know. Uh, Sleepy Hollow is not on Netflix either. <laughs> and then Sounds of the Lambs, which is on Netflix. So if you have seen any of these, if after this movie you go and check some of them out, leave a comment below if you have seen them, if you love them, if you don't like them. Um, or if you watch them and you really like them or you don't like them, or if you have any other movies that like fit into the same kind of genre of like bloody, cheesy, horror movies, leave a comment below and I will check them out because I love horror movies. Well, that is all for today. I am going to go and uh, stick my head in a freezer. But you people have a fantastic week. I love you all.